Hi guys, welcome in Advanced Excel program and I am Sanjay Kumar, your trainer. In last class we learned how to use a screenshot feature in Excel and now we are going to learn how to use consolidate feature. Consolidate feature is one of the feature that allow you to combine the range of two different areas in Excel sheet and combine that into one. So let's see that how exactly the consolidate feature works. So here I have opened an actual workbook where we have a two demo tables. One is group one and second is group B. You would see the same uh, number of people are here and in a group B as well. And this is for a year sales, your sale attempt. Okay, you can see that it's January to December for group A and same is for group B. And we have a numbers here and uh, if in some scenario if we get a requirement where we have to combine the values of group A and B so there are many ways of do, you know, doing that and one of the easy way of doing it is a consolidate function so let's see that how you can apply this once you will apply then what will happen the value for this table for example it's January and for John it is 84 and for John in group B it is a hundred it will combine and it will come and appear here as a 184 so let's see how we will do that we will go in um, data tab and here you would see a data tool and here is a consolidate feature you have to click on it and you can select your desired function so not only it, it can you know combine or you know sum the values in the cell but it also can provide some other functions just like a count average max minimum like this okay so for this demo we're going to do that a sum and this is a reference so we're going to give what area actually should remember that we're going to use that in a future for you know combining values so in a reference I'm gonna click on a reference button and I'm going to select what area I have to record so for group A I would be usually like to see that what would be the combined value for all these four people from January to December so only the value I have selected we can add that yes it is added and you would see that I have unselect any of these you know checkbox because we have selected just values not we don't need their label at, at this point and uh, now we're going to select the second uh, groups area that going to be this one so I'm gonna click select the second area add so we have added all those you know uh, areas that we need and now what I'm going to do because our you know you would see uh, I have created a, a demo blank table that has a you know written here is a group A and B so what my desire is that all the values that are for group A and B for every single person need to be summed and it should appear here so I have selected the first cell of that place where these values should you know start appearing uh, so I have already did that I'm gonna just click on OK so you can see that uh, all the values for A and B are combined so there is a one more way of doing it just let's see that how you can do that we again go in the consolidate and now I'm gonna remove the reference that we gave going to select it once again but now this time I'm gonna select the label as well not just value the label as well entire table at gonna do that for a group B at and I'm gonna select the top row is going to have label just like you know the, because this is have you know name of the months and left column is also having label that's the name and I'm gonna click OK so you would see the same thing up here but not just you know uh, the group A and B that's text that I put here but entire other you know uh, labels are appearing 
because they are relevant to data it's actually you know could not identify that what it you know it has to do with the group a and b that text it's somewhere in a corner so it can't be related to any of these you know values so it it skipped that but we we got the table that we were looking for it is a uh, summed up it's combined we can also use consolidate feature to consolidate data from different workbooks so let's see that how you can do that so here you can see there are three workbooks one is book one that already has data and one is book three that has the same set of data and we want to consolidate the data into uh, book four so let's see that how we can do that again I'm going I'm going to uh, data data tool consolidate and in a reference I'm going to take data from book one this is our data yes we're going to take top row and left column as a labeled and don't forget to check the create links to source data that is the key for you know using uh, data from different workbook I'm gonna click add okay now let's go in book 3 your friends I have selected the data from book 3 as well same things are checked I'm going to add that now if I click on this this is going to populate the consolidated data of book 3 and book 1 into 1 so let's see that how this works I'm gonna click OK and here is book 4 and you see on the left side there is a plus sign that allow you to drill down the data for a John for book 3 and book 1 that is given here for each month and here is a consolidated amount you can see that so this is how this feature works and same fashion if you click on that you drill down you see the data for other other you know members as well so, so even you can use consolidate feature in this way as well so I hope this video was informative for you and don't forget to give your comments and likes that motivate me to create more videos for you so thank you so much for seeing this video we will meet again in the next chapter and in next class we will learn how to use the paste with live preview don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so you can get update on coming videos in this series thank you for watching this video we will meet again